New at six, a local company helping rescue refugees overseas using a robotic lifeguard. The company called Hydronolics sent its remote-controlled lifeguard to Greece to help the Coast Guard rescue refugees fleeing the Middle East. And a local firefighter went with them. Now your size Ricky Mitchell has the story. Do you have anyone who doesn't mind getting their feet wet? At only 24 pounds, the Emergency Integrated Life-Saving Lanyard, or EMILY, can help rescue up to six people without endangering first responders. You can just walk up, throw the boat into the water, take it out to the victim, and it'll sustain them. Manufactured by the Saurita-based company Hydronolics, this same lifeguard is now in Greece, along with the company's owner, Tony Mulligan, and Rural Metro Fire Captain John Sims. Sims is a former member of the Coast Guard and has worked for Rural Metro for more than 20 years. He was just kind of the perfect person to be able to give that professional perspective on, on how effective this tool is going to be. The two men brought Emily to Greece to assist the Center for Robot Assisted Search and Rescue in their attempts to reduce drowning deaths. According to the International Organization for Migration, more than 18,000 refugees have arrived in Greece so far this year. 47 of them have died in the attempt. This is a lot better than sending a person out because panicked people tend to latch on to anything that they can get, including other people, debris. So far, the team has focused mostly on training and haven't yet participated in active rescues. Hopefully it'll help to, to save some lives over there and anywhere the, the, uh, the uh, boat is used. And back here at home, Rural Metro has tested Emily for its use in swift water rescues. Captain Carlick says they may use it in the future to keep first responders safe during rescues. Ricky, Looks promising. It really does. Hmm.